When a game ends the way it did last night, uh, how long does it take to get to sleep? Do you, are you able to level down the, the excitement and uh, just concentrate and work the next day? Yeah, you have to try to and just kind of get ready for the next one here. So um, yeah, that was a good one for us. It was a fun game. So um, you know, we're just moving on to the next one here. On our broadcast, Ray Perot described the overtime winner as a perfect shot. How did, how did it feel off your stick last night? Yeah, it felt good. I mean, that's kind of where, uh, where we wanted to put it. So, um, you know, found a little, little spot and was able to hit it. So, when, In the process of coming down, when are you kind of, as you go through the checklist, deciding that's where you're going? I don't know. You know it's just you just shoot it and put it where you're trying to put it. Not much going through your head there. Your possession numbers and Zach as well were pretty high last night. Do you get a sense in the game that you know you're kind of controlling the pace? Do you feel that you're at times dominating? Yeah, for sure. I thought uh, a few times, and especially in the second, uh, second, third period, we were all over the puck, creating turnovers, um, you know, cycling it down low and kind of hanging on to it. And, um, you know, kind of wearing on their on their D and on their forwards, so um, that's the way uh, all four lines. The way we want to play is a um, you know, smart game, not turning the puck over, just getting it in and uh, making smart plays and getting to the Any more significant for your line, Austin, that it was coming against the defense pair of Patrick Kane, people that have Stanley Cup rings and all the experience that they do. What was the question, sir? Just that you guys are doing it against the defense pair like they have. Yeah, I mean, you go against a, a lot of really good players and every single night, so you can't really be thinking about that too much. Everybody's a hockey player. You go out and play hockey. When you have that much possession, do you feel kind of gr like you're grinding them down and that it's only a matter of time before you can kind of get the offensive chances and keep pushing and pushing on them? Definitely. I mean, I thought we had tons of chances last night. Uh, Goalie made some good saves, some, uh, you know, shots we kind of fanned on and uh, we were able to kind of when you're creating opportunities like that, I mean, it gets frustrating, but at the same time, I mean, you're getting these opportunities, it's only a matter of time they're going to win. You're seeing Zach getting more offensive opportunities and he getting the confidence to go with it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you saw it in the home opener, saw it last night, uh, you know, he's kind of kind of springing him off on, uh, you know, he gets he's obviously a really good fast skater, and when he uh, kind of springs down the ice and you find him, he's going to be able to get around the D and, and take it in the net, so... Um, I definitely, uh, definitely love to see that. In your summer training, did you do any tinkering with your shot or look to improve it in any way, or is it just a natural progression, the same old good shot that we saw? Progression, yeah. yeah. What do you know about the Devils early in the season? Yeah, I mean, obviously they've gone off to a pretty good start too. Um, I feel like they're kind of in the situation that we were in last year. They've drafted pretty well. They've got some really good young players, and uh, they're kind of building their team up uh, you know, from a, a good course. So. Uh, they're going to be a, a good test for us, and I'm sure you know they're saying the same thing over there. It's going to be a good test for them as well. So, uh, you know, they play with a lot of pace. They're fast. Uh, they got a lot of skills. So, it'll be uh, another good matchup for us tonight. Is the, is the fan in is fan you curious to see how Nico does in his first year? Sorry. Is the fan in you curious to see how Nico does in his first year? Yeah, I mean, all those guys. Uh, you know, he's coming into uh, a good organization there in New Jersey. A good coach uh, had him in the World Championships a couple years ago. So. Um, yeah, he's obviously a really talented player, so it'll be fun, uh, fun to see him play tomorrow night.